Hello, my name is Andrew Ferguson. I'm the farming manager at uh, Lightford Estate, the Waitrose Farm in Hampshire, and we are a leaf demonstration farm. Ground, groundwater is critical to the operation of any farming estate. Um, we rely on uh, good quality water for obviously the production of our crops, uh, for the production of our livestock, and we have on the estate 100 properties and another 50 off the estate that we supply with, uh, with water, with portable water. Uh, so it's important to us in our farming operations that we look after our groundwater, not just for our crops and for our livestock, but for residents uh, and also uh, for the river test itself that runs through the estate. It's the groundwater that feeds the river test and without the river test we, we wouldn't have quite the uh, iconic river that we do in Hampshire. Groundwater protection is an important focus uh, across many things that we do on the estate. Um, for example, we're standing in an arable field here um, in November. It's in overwintered stubble. Uh, there will be a green cover in this field throughout winter, uh, so any heavy rainfall that we get, that green cover will intercept the rainfall and prevent and hopefully minimise uh, runoff through the field. Uh, and at the bottom of the slope here, we have a resource protection zone uh, should we have an event where we do have uh, runoff or even just intercepting subsurface flow of water, we have that grass strip there that will prevent that, that, that dirty water, that potentially polluted water, or even uh, silty water, getting onto the road, down into the river test. Um, and that's just one field we're, we're standing in here. Um, clearly, uh, across the estate, we have a number of enterprises. We have a 600 cow dairy herd, and it's very important there in our management of uh, dirty water and slurry. Uh, that we are minimising the environmental impact and uh, in, in, in not impacting on the quality of the groundwater. Soil management and nutrient management go hand in hand. Um, there are a number of things we do to optimise our nutrient management on the estate and by doing so we're lessening the environmental impact of, of wasted nutrients. Uh, so again, you know, the, the green cover that we're standing in in this overwintered stubble, not only will it uh, minimise the impact of, of rain falling on the soil and, and washing it off. It's also intercepting nutrients and preventing them from being leached through the soil through the, the winter time. Um, and preserving nutrients is all important to us. We are minimising our use of fertilisers through the use of forage and gooms, red clover and lucerne. And when we do apply our dirty water and slurry on the field, we are sort of regularly uh, monitoring the, the quality of that through sort of lab analysis of the nutrient content. The success of what we do here in terms of soil management, nutrient management and our sort of, uh, impact on the environment is uh, highly dependent on collaboration with a number of, sort of key organisations uh, through catchment sensitive farming, through the Environment Agency uh, and uh, with LEAF itself. I'm Serena Ledley, I'm the catchment sensitive farming officer for the Test in Itchen, which includes the Lechford Estate where we are today. One of the key things about groundwater is that because it's out of sight, it's often out of mind and it's frequently neglected. Um, compared to surface water where you can see pollution and runoff, you can see the sediment going down tracks and roads and running off fields, you can't see the nitrate leaching into groundwater. Catchment sensitive farming works with farmers and partnership organisations across a range of catchments in England to deal with diffuse water pollution from agriculture. Yeah, I'm Lucy Roberts, I work for the Environment Agency and I'm a technical specialist um, dealing with groundwater in Hampshire, the Isle of Wight and Sussex. But nitrates are a problem with groundwater for a number of reasons. Water companies need to supply safe drinking water to everyone and in order to do that they have to keep the nitrates below a certain drinking water standard. In many parts of the country nitrate levels are still continuing to rise. This is due in part to higher nitrate applications and leaching in the past. Following heavy rainfall we also see spikes in nitrate concentrations in the groundwater and these can be due to more recent land use practices. Here at Legford Estate we're situated on chalk. In the chalk you've got two ways that water that falls on the surface can get down to the groundwater. The first one is where the rain falls on the surface it will go down through the main body of the chalk very slowly take at around a metre a year and will take a while to get down there. The other way you've got fra fractures and fissures in the chalk. Because of the speed at which water travels through the fissures that's the area that we have the ability to control now so by working with farmers we can look to reduce those peaks in nitrate that we see 
This is where the groundwater team in the Environment Agency can share data with farmers. We hold information and we can look at it together to understand in your area whether there are peaks and whether, on earth, whether we're looking at a long-term trend. On the Lugford Estate there are boreholes for supplying the agriculture, for supplying the domestic properties and also just over the hill at Chilbolton we've got the public water supply which the source protection zone, the area that that, that that captures its water from also comes onto the Lugford Estate. At the Environment Agency we're keen to work with people to minimise any negative impact on the environment and also share any information to work out how best that can happen.